you don't, not into the water. Yeah, we're really going to have to find the ability that makes us stronger when we're wet. I love these little guys. The little noises they make. They are just so cute. Oh, got a little temple here. Let's give it a little offering. How about some apples? Oh, what's that? The Wind Reader's Hut. Well, that seems interesting. We're going to get wet, but let's see what's there. Sure, I'm soaked, but this looks interesting. Yeah, I, I think they probably think I know where I'm going, but I really don't. Like there was an old pier here. Shrewd fisher. Find your own fishing spot. I've been coming here to fish since forever. Every few seasons, new wind voice apprentices from the university. The students are forced to do several seasons of apprenticeship tasks in solitude out here, you see. The funny and quite lucrative part of the whole cycle is that the apprentices never know how to ration their food properly so it does not take long for them to start looking me up for trade for food. That is very smart. Yeah, those are the expensive salmons. Oh, he can charge whatever he likes. I'm going here. An old fireplace there. Elderly wind voice. Welcome. I am Wind Voice Apprentice Ephan, apprentice to Master Wind Voice Carahan, at your service. Me and my fella Kelpie are conducting a critical part of our studies out here. Part of our work is taking readings from enchanted wind foils that you will find on top of the cliff. They are fascinating contraptions enchanted by our master to read the wind energies. Running out of space again. Oh, we can put that back on. And we can put our umbrella away. So that gives us a little bit more space. And let's grab something to drink. Brew of hidden cries. The drinker of the brew can hear sounds imperceivable by others and see living beings clearly. Oh, let's have a drink. Yeah, interesting. The fireplace. I did see a bridge over here. water. There is loot here. Ooh, looks like we've got some decent things. 24. Oh, jeez. 312. Yeah, we are getting rid of some stuff to fit that in. I think we've got all of our pockets full. Oh, no, we've got two pockets free there. Well, let's put our trade items there. That was very lucrative. Hopefully everybody else found it too. It sounds like we've actually got an echo. Wait a minute, there's... 
Oh, seafaring revenant. You dare fling words at Sayinda at the sea fury. So be it, mortal. Know that your puny affronts shall be repaid by interest. And if you draw your steel against me, I will bring you down upon all the fury of the bitter barons. Oh, and you'll savour my curse, mortal. Oh, lovely. Cursed by the ghost captain. Ooh, more stuff. Again, decent things. Let's drop these. They're not worth as much. Now we can pick up these. So, I do not know <laughs> how we're going to get rid of the curse, or what the curse even does, but I guess we'll find out. See what's over here. I don't know if there's anything over here, but Ooh, rubble. No, nope, we are not doing that. So I wonder how we're gonna get rid of this curse then. I heard something over here. Yeah, I definitely hear something. There appears to be someone here. Are you a ghost or something? Whoever did the ghost thing, do it again. Maybe there's something there. Western Beacon. Any way to get across there? Ooh, that gives physicality. We need that. None of these have pockets. <laughs> Sephra Feathers, I almost took you for a ketten. Me and Ephra are here on Windmaster Kurum's errand to study the mystical properties of the winds. But the thuds of the Ketum step keeps us from our work and our sleep. I sure miss my warm and comparatively quiet apprentice cell back in Rivenleaf. If we could only find a way to rid the area of Ketums. Allows you to see the spirits of the sea. Hmm. Well, we might need that in order to deal with what we've just gotten. We've got a fair amount of items and they seem happy with the items. Yeah, let's let's see what we can do. Not far off though. Let's see. I like that. There. Can't learn it yet. We haven't got the knowledge points, but that's something. Might be useful. Cleared a little bit more of our inventory. Ooh, something else. More mechanics. Yeah, I want to get to the Western Beacon. I don't know if I can, but let's see. Ooh, loot. Cloudberry. Sounds tasty. Hmm, let's see. Can we get over to it? This is not looking good. Maybe further over. Leading everybody to walk in circles in the water. Well, you don't know until you try. But it's not looking good. Maybe if we could, I don't know, walk on water? Driftwood dust. We needed some of that. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get over there easily. Yeah, no chance. Or cloudberries. In fact, there's been a lot of wreckage around here. This does seem to be as far west as we can go. So 
I'm not sure. Well, let's head over to the Traveller's Meadow. I know I want to head that way. Get some more berries. They seem fairly easy to collect and they stack. Ooh, loot. Hey. Let's tell them there's some loot here. Oh, it looks like they may have run off. Ooh, get some nice things. So, after travelling with others, let's go it alone. See what else we can find. It's another Dormen altar. Ooh, more loot. Too many clothes. I need a much larger backpack. Um, <laughs> or I need to start focusing more on what I'm going to keep. Let's start trading up. Jade. Well, moth eating shirts aren't particularly useful. A rock. Nope, I think we can leave the rock. Yeah, along these rocky cliffs, you seem to find quite a lot of stuff. That's a more jade, that's good. That will stack. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about the reagents. I mean, are we able to just eat the apple straight off the tree? We are. That's good. No need to leave that behind. But yes, we definitely need to do a bit of trading. Maybe on the roads we'll find a nice trader with some stuff we need. Oh, what's this? Shack in the middle of the woods? I have no idea. It's probably the outhouse, isn't it? Well, we're here, so let's do a bit of trading. I did quite like having that. Yeah, let's learn this. It gives us a bit more space. So yeah, these both cost two. Now you'll notice these little pips. And that means the more you use them, the better you get them. So you basically level them up. Not all of them have it. But those that do, if you unlearn them, then you lose all the pips that you've had on them. For some abilities, it can be worth to just learn them when you need to. But others, you're going to want to keep them learnt. We want to head back this way. Back past the hunters again. Cuddle, we can talk to the deer. What have we here? A dandelion hunting, not a deer. Upside down, some of the world. As clouds of storm themselves unfurl. Huh, a poetry writing deer. So, brand new area. Harrow Ledge. Well, it's gotten a little misty here. Very ominous. <laughs> Some more feathers. Grim Arabat. Sleeping Shore. Well, we may as well give this place a good look over before we start heading back to civilization. Ooh, lots of spooky noises here. Oh, it's another ghost. Chanting shade. Torment. Well, hopefully not, thank you. A 
off the Traveller's Meadow. Oh, wow. I've been wanting to see this place for a while. Every single one of these blue flowers represents someone that backed the game. I know for Kickstarter, but I think possibly also for the backers as well. And just look at it. Is that another player? No, that's not another player. That's an NPC, I'm guessing, then. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, welcome to the Traveller's Meadow. That ah, looks like some little kids playing. Ooh, dormant altar. Well, let's see if we can make it undormant. Nope, we're wet. Never mind. Only two. I think we can do that. Not quite yet, but I know we can change our equipment to help. If you are having a little bit of trouble getting these to activate, just go to your character panel and then back and it should sort it. Speed blessing. Ooh. Well, we're going to be quick for a while. Quick and wet. <laughs> Worn out. Yeah, definitely need to find a place to rest. Let's have a talk to these little kids first, though. Now, I think the Kickstarters actually get a spell that allows them to teleport to this meadow. Looks like we can talk to you. Once we spotted a ghost ship, it was so scary, the drawing of it is just a blur. Because my hand was shaking so much. Well, I saw a ghost captain? Pirate? I'm not sure. Oh, look at the deer. Let's take a rest here. Yes, I definitely wanted to show you this area. And to see it for myself. So beautiful. 